Good morning. This is the Global Stock Investor Show. Welcome, global investors. Uh, today, oh, finally got out of the tech, tech, technology sector. That it was long. Uh, the technology sector, I did twelve parts. So today I'll be doing three D printing sector, and there's only two parts. So today will be part one. I'm gonna give you guys five. 3D printing companies. Before I get into that, as you can see, the market as of now, it's Monday, it's open. I'm down negative 0.67. I mean, I thought I was going to jump over to the, on the, the, the other side where the, the grass is greener, but um, we're still over here in um, bear territory. It's all good. Um, I'm learning, I'm learning the cycles and, and the, uh, the roller coaster rise. The roller coaster ride of the stock market. So, uh, this is my second year. Um, to the right, I currently own 70 global stock companies. As I'm scrolling down, you can start from a thousand all the way to a dollar. So, and, and pretty much the way I started, I started off investing um, with two shares. Pretty much, um, when I first started, I bought two shares of Nike, two shares of Coca-Cola, and then two shares of Sony. It was like my first, as you can see, Nike there, two shares, uh, Sony, two shares, and then Coca-Cola, two shares. So when I first started, I just, I bought a company that I was really familiar with, and I knew I could see it being around, you know, five, ten years into the future. So that's how I started off, and then I started going started investing in sectors so uh, once i hit 100 i'm gonna go over my portfolio so and and the way i'm the way my strategy and way my philosophy is so i'm pretty much i'm building my 500 company template and then from there um i'll know what to double up on so pretty much that's what i'm getting used to is just pretty much seeing how these uh the companies that I invest that I invest into how they are fluctuating so something to get me in the know okay so let's jump into it this is the 3D printing sector part 1 the first company is proto labs okay proto labs let's look at the 5 year beautiful upward trend uh, it peaked at $165, currently in a bear market, market price $117.66. About Proto Labs Incorporated engages in the digital manufacture of custom prototypes and production parts. It operates through the following geographical segments, United States, Europe, and Japan. It offers 3D printing, CNC machining, and injection molding services. The company was founded by Lawrence J. Lucas and Greg Bloom on May 5th, 1999, and is headquartered in Maple Plain, Minnesota. The current CEO is Victoria M. Holt, employees 2,266, headquarters Maple Plain, Minnesota, founded in 1999, market cap 3.19 billion, dividend yield zero, Buy 50%, hold 50%, those two together, more than 75%. That's the first 3D printing company. The second 3D printing company is 3D printing ETF. Okay, let's look at that. Let's look at the five year. Fairly new, as you can see with the straight line. Um, it peaked around $26, currently in a bear market, market price $21. About PRNT tracks a tier equal weighted index composed of stocks that are directly involved in 3D, 3D printing and 3D printing related businesses. So pretty much uh, market cap $39.42 million, dividend yield 0.57. So that's the second 3D printing company. 
I should say ETF. Uh, the third 3D printing company is Strata Strata System Strata Sys. Hopefully, I've, yeah, I think I got that right. Strata S T R A T A. There it is. Strata Sys. Let's go to the five year. Ooh, it peaked back. Um, back in. February 21st, 2014 at $126.52. Currently, I mean, as you can see, it's um, from there, it's, it's dropped. It's baseline, pretty much, bear market. Uh, market price, 1944 About Stratasys, Stratasys LTE engages in the provision of additive manufacturing solutions for the production of parts used in the process of designing and manufacturing products for the manufacture of end parts. Its systems include desktop 3D printers for idea and design development, various systems for rapid prototyping, and large production systems for direct digital manufacturing. The company also develops, manufactures, and sells materials for use with its systems and provides related service offerings to its customers. Stratasys was founded on March 3rd, 1998, and is headquartered in Eden Prairie, Minnesota. The current CEO is Elon Gaglum, employees 2,266, headquarters, Eden Prairie, Minnesota, founded in 1998, market cap 1.06 billion, dividend yield zero, buy 14%, hold 64%, those two together more than 75%. That's the third 3D printing company. The fourth 3D printing company is Materialize, M-A-T-E-R-I-L-I-S-C. Okay, let's look at the five year. As you can see, the peak was recently um, $21. Currently, the market price is nineteen dollars. About E Materialize NV engages in the provision of additive manufacturing software and three D printing services. It operates through the following business segments: Materialize Software, Materialize Medical, and Materialize Manufacturing. The Materialize Software segment develops and delivers additive manufacturing software solutions and related services. The materialized medical segment includes medical software solutions, medical devices, and other related products and services. The materialized manufacturing segment provides 3D printed services. The company was founded by Wilfred Van, Van Crayen on June 28, 1990 and is headquartered in Levin, Belgium, Global Stock Investing. Our current CEO is Wilfred Van Crayen Employees, 1,862 headquarters, Leuven, Leuven, Belgium, founded in 1990, market cap, 922.37 million, dividend yield zero. So that's the fourth 3D printing company. Last but not least is 3D, uh, keep hitting it, 3D systems. Okay, let's look at the five year. As you can see, the peak ninety dollars. Uh, currently, uh, baseline in a bear market. Market price eleven dollars. One hell of a drop. Um, about three D Systems Corp is also called three D Systems is a holding company, which engages in the provision of comprehensive three dimensional printing solution. It includes three-dimensional printers, materials, software, and on-demand manufacturing services, and digital design tools. The company was founded by Charles W. Hull in 1986 and is headquartered in Rock Hill, South Carolina. The current CEO is Wong Mesh I. Yoshi. Employees 2,666. Headquarters Rock Hill, South Carolina. Founded in 1986, market cap 1.29 billion, dividend yield zero, buy zero, zero percent, 
hold 69%. Okay, so this is pretty much under the uh, 75%. So pretty much, but I still got it on the list to buy because there's only uh, 10 3D printing companies that I found interesting. So I would still, I, I would personally still buy it, um, buy and hold for the future. Um, the total investments for these five companies comes out to $189.65. In conclusion, let's go back to the 3D printing companies, Proto Labs. It had a dividend yield of zero. The 3D printing ETF had a dividend yield of 0 0.57. Stratus Stratasys had a dividend yield of zero. Materialized dividend yield of zero. 3D Systems dividend yield of zero. So these pretty much they're like that because these are fairly this sector is fairly new, and I believe I believe in uh, 3D printing will be become big in the future. But since they're um, not recognized that much, I want to go ahead and still have uh, these 3D printing companies in my portfolio. Also, subscribe to the channel. Comment any questions or recommendations you have. Like if the content was inspiring for you. And share this information with other global stock investors. While you're slaying dragons... I'll be taming them.